everyone and welcome back to the O's room all right y'all so today we're going to be talking about the power of saying no and you're like why jayla why are we talking about the power of saying no because this is a problem that jayla had for a very very long time and me now at the age of 24 i'm finally figuring out that i can say no and not feel guilty about it okay so let's get into this video right so we're gonna start off why did I even bring up this topic? Because I noticed throughout my life, I have been a people pleaser, said yes to anything, even if it didn't serve me any good in any way. I would go hang out with people that I didn't want to hang out with. I would do things that I wasn't interested in doing. I would be a, around people that I didn't agree with what we were doing. And it, it was just a mess, a whole, whole mess. And I was like, why not talk about how it affects you so that people can understand like there's power in saying no like it's okay to say no even if it lets people down even if they don't like you afterwards even if they um just stop talking to you all together it's okay to say no especially when that situation or person or whatever's going on is not serving you at that moment it's not bringing you any um, positivity it's not bringing you any growth it's not bringing you any peace of mind if it's distracting you from your goals it is okay to say no we need to stop this whole idea of if I say no they won't like me if I say no they're not gonna talk to me if I say no they're gonna have a chip on their shoulder next time I see them that could be friends family strangers um, acquaintances you at some point in life you just stop caring about what people feel about you and you have to serve yourself first if it's not helping me in any way if it's not helping me get towards my goals in life it's, if it's not helping me propel myself in a direction where I see I want to be going I'm saying no I'm saying no if it's gonna put me in danger especially if it's gonna put me in, in any type of danger whether it's seen or unseen danger say no so one of my examples of me saying no is in college i would i was looking forward to partying right not knowing that i actually didn't like going to clubs one because people are always touching you especially men that are drunk and you can't really enjoy yourself when you got men touching all on you and trying to talk to you and you're just trying to have fun and dance with your friends that's not, I didn't come to the club to get guys' attention. I came to the club to dance and enjoy myself and be cute. Not to be sexually harassed, right? So first time I went to the club, that's what happened. All those things that I just explained, that's what happened to me at the club. And I made a decision. I do not like going to the club. So I messed up one day. This was like the second time I went to the club because my roommate asked me to go. And then she's like, please, you're like, it'll be fun, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, I'll go. Even knowing that. I did not want to go. I knew that it wasn't going to help me in any way. It wasn't going to help me with my schoolwork. It was just going to distract me from what I was working towards, which was being a uh, on roll or whatever dean's list student. Even though I was still able to do that, it was distracting me. It was not helping me in any way by going to the club. But in that my naiveness, I went anyway, right? So I go to the club. We get there. I'm dancing. And I just had... I had to stop. I, I was just looking around the room and I'm just observing. I'm like, what is this doing for me? Yes, it's fun to listen to music. Yes, I love dancing. Yes, I love singing. But what is this really doing for me? Is this serving me my purpose in life? Is this helping me get better at anything that I'm working towards right now? No, it's not. It's really not. So why am I here? So what did I do? I went upstairs to the bar area and sat down and just listened to music up there. I didn't drink or anything, but that day on, I never went to a club again because it was not helping me in any type of way. Yes, it is fun to go party. Yes, it is fun. But in the long run, is it going to help you to get that house? Is it going to help you to get that job? Is it going to help you to change your life? Is it going to help you to move across state? If it's not helping you work towards the goals and vision that you have for your life, say no to it. Say no and do it unafraid, unapologetically. Say no. Say no. That's all we got to do. 
And yes, it's gonna be hard at first. You can like, oh, your your thoughts are gonna be racing. Like, oh my gosh, what it, what, are, what are they gonna think of me? They're probably gonna think like I don't like them or they're thinking I'm being like a, a snob or I think I'm better than them. No, you are serving yourself. You're giving yourself the opportunity to do something better, to do something that's more important, to do something that is gonna work towards your goals and your future and really help you to become the person that you see or envision yourself being. And sometimes you're gonna have to say no to family, even family events, because yes, people have toxic people in their family that they don't wanna be around. If you know that going to this, this cookout with your family is about to bring a headache and stress and conflict, say no. Yes, they might think that you don't, maybe you don't wanna be part of the family anymore. So what? So freaking what? Don't care about what anybody is saying because honestly, at the end of the day, are they gonna pay your bills? Are they gonna put food on your table? Are they gonna put a roof over your head? Are they gonna buy you that car that you've been wishing and praying and hoping for and working towards? No, they're not gonna do none of that. Are they gonna give you peace of mind at the end of the day? No, your, your job as a person on this planet is to make every moment of your life matter. Don't waste your time doing things that are not serving you in any way or helping you get better in some aspect of life. And I truly mean that. And I'm speaking to myself when I say this because yes, I have gotten way better with saying no, but I do find myself from time to time still um, entertaining things that I know I shouldn't be doing. And then I have a husband, a, a awesome, awesome husband that really gets to me and helps me like realize, hey, this is not good for you. <laughs> and I'm glad to have him on my side. He has made saying no so much easier for me because he sees the whole picture. He can see things that I don't see. He, he sees the bigger picture, I see the small details. So I'm glad to have him in my life to help me on this journey of doing things that serve me, serve my purpose in life and help me grow as a person. So my message to you guys is to truly, truly, truly be okay with saying no. It is okay. It's not the end of the world. That relationship is not, the ending is not the end of the world. And say it without being get feeling guilty or feeling like, oh man, I, I, maybe I should have said yes. No. You stick with your no. If it's not serving you, don't do it. If it's not bringing peace in your life, don't do it. If it's not bringing joy in your life, don't do it. If it's not helping you go towards your goals in life, do not do it. Do not force yourself to do things that are not going to serve you, okay? That is the end of this video. I hope you guys learned something. I hope I was able to <laughs> just bring light to the situation and just validate your feelings that you've been feeling for a long time because I know people have a problem with saying yes to things that they don't that don't serve them. I, I know people do, because I had that same problem and not care about what anybody else thought about me saying no. So that is the end of this video. I love you guys. We are leaving the Rose Room. I will see you guys in the next video, right? Peace.